Welcome to this channel. These questions are gathered from multiple sources, and this will help you to pass TOGOF Standard Foundation LEVEL1 exam. This is valid for TOGOF 9.2 and TOGOF 10. We really need your support and motivation to keep this going. We appreciate if you like and subscribe our channel. Thank you. So, let's begin our journey. Question 1. Which of the following TOGOF components was created to enable architects to design architectures addressing boundaryless information flow? A. The architecture repository. B. The enterprise continuum. C. The integrated information infrastructure model. D. The TOGOF technical reference model. Correct answer is, option C. Question 2. Which of the following best describes the TOGOF technical reference model? A. It is a detailed data model that can be tailored to specific industries. B. It is an example of a common systems architecture. C. It is a fundamental architecture upon which more specific architectures can be based. D. It is a model of application components and application services software, including brokering applications. Correct answer is, option C. Question 3. Which one of the following statements about the structure of the TOGOF 9 document is true? A. Part I, the enterprise continuum, describes a model for structuring a virtual repository. B. Part 2, the architecture development method, describes the definitions of terms used in TOGOF, and the changes between versions of TOGOF. C. Part 3, Tools and Support, describes a collection of guidelines and techniques used in the other parts of TOGOF. D. Part 6, TOGOF Reference Models, includes a model for release management of the TOGOF specification. E. Part 7, The Architecture Capability Framework, describes processes and skills to establish an enterprise function. Correct answer is, Option E. Question 4. Which phase of the ADM ensures that implementation projects conform to the defined architecture? A. Requirements Management B. Phase D C. Phase F D. Phase G E. Phase H Correct answer is, Option D. Question 5. Complete the sentence. The Requirements Management Phase A. Addresses and resolves requirements between ADM phases B. Is a central process that prioritizes requirements for all ADM phases C. Is used to dispose of resolved requirements for all ADM phases D. Generates new requirements and passes them to all ADM phases E. Stores requirements and manages their flow into relevant ADM phases Correct answer is, Option E Question 6. Which one of the following is an objective of the preliminary phase of the ADM? A. To define the baseline architecture for this cycle of the ADM. B. To define the application systems for the target architecture. C. To define the framework and methodologies to be used. D. To define the relevant stakeholders and their concerns. E. To define and prioritize work packages. Correct answer is, option C. Question 7. According to Togoff, when creating views for a particular architecture, what is the recommended first step? A. Design a viewpoint to address all stakeholder concerns. B. Develop views for the target architecture first. C. Ensure completeness of the architecture. D. Refer to existing libraries of viewpoints, to identify one for reuse. Correct answer is, option D. Question 8. Which of the following architectures in the architecture continuum contains the most reusable architecture elements? A. Common systems architectures. B. Foundation architectures. C. Industry architectures. D. Organization-specific architectures. 
Correct answer is, option B. Question 9. Which of the following describes the architecture vision document? A. A description of individual change increments showing progression from the baseline to target architecture. B. A detailed schedule for implementation of the target architecture. C. A high-level description of the baseline and target architectures. D. A joint agreement between the development team and sponsor on the deliverables and quality of an architecture. E. A set of rules and guidelines to support fulfilling the mission of the organization. Correct answer is, option C. Question 10. According to Togoff, which of the following best describes how the enterprise continuum is used in organizing and developing an architecture? A. It is used to coordinate with the other management frameworks in use. B. It is used to describe how an architecture addresses stakeholder concerns. C. It is used to identify and understand business requirements. D. It is used to provide a system for continuous monitoring. E. It is used to structure reusable architecture and solution assets. Correct answer is, option E. Stay tuned for many more videos like this. If you like this effort, Please subscribe this channel and give a thumbs up.